All right, well, back one more time. Went in yesterday and got my backrest installed. Wanted one just for extra, you know, a little bit of extra comfort. I got the, the wife rides on here quite a bit. We haven't been home a single weekend since I got this damn thing, so. A little comfort for her and a little peace of mind for me, you know, and she's gonna travel with something to lean up against. Just in case. You know, I mean it changes the look of the bike definitely, but I don't think it's too bad. Nice chrome mount. They gotta take the bags off to install the chrome brace. And you can unscrew it right here from both sides if you want. Just take those out on both sides. Pull that off. Or if you wanna leave the chrome piece. You can just take your back pad off and leave for your helmet or whatever. Just get rid of the backrest if you're not going to use it. No sense having to get beat up in the rain for Lord knows how long. But I did, as you see, I went and installed. I was trying to figure it out. My Baca flag. I'm going through the process right now to become a member. Good organization. If you don't know who they are, look them up. They're Amazing work with kids, you know, it's, I figured if I was ever going to ride with any form of club, well, organization, they're not a club, I wanted it to be worth something, you know, something that was a little bigger than me, something that mattered, had a purpose, you know, it's easy to roll around looking stupid, flipping people off, and thinking you're in Sons of Anarchy, you know, but to actually have something that's worth something you know that's that's what i wanted so but there you have it yeah it was a little actually i'll, I'll back up but it was a little tricky trying to figure out how to get this mounted it's the window kind you put in the back of your car for your little football flags or whatever you know but it wasn't fitting too well because it had the big hook that goes on the windshield and i couldn't mount that anywhere down here didn't want to scratch the paint so i thought well maybe i could use some zip ties well, that wasn't going to work. I just, I, I didn't like it. Didn't have any, actually. Walking around my shed, my little shop, realized, oh, wait, I got this cord. It's, like, wrapped in rubber. And you can bend it in any different direction you want. It's like a steel cable or something in there. And it holds tight. I went ahead and just wrapped it around there once or twice. I actually took, underneath all this, I cut the pole, this little plastic pole, I cut it to where it sits down on this bottom nut, but then I notched it so it would rest on this. So as it gets pushed back, it actually sits in that nut. It locks itself in so it's not going to slide out. Once I got that lined up, you can tighten this really tight. I mean, you can pull it tight. It's and it's, I mean, it's not going anywhere. This thing's not falling off for nothing, so. And I can adjust it, you know, I can just reach down there and tighten that back up if I need to. But, yeah, just wanted to throw something. Wasn't about to put stickers on the bike or nothing. But, overall, had her for a couple months now, got her in June. We're pushing, hell, we're September now, so. I haven't had a single problem, had the brakes done yesterday. Uh, they tried to install my throttle lock, but the, uh, there wasn't enough space between the grip, or the throttle, and the brake reservoir. The little mount would hook in the front, but it would hook in between the two. Wasn't enough room to fit in there. So that was kind of a wasted effort, but I have a different idea for a throttle lock on it. But yeah, no no problems at all. Got it at 14,000 miles, got 18,000 on it now, and I haven't driven my car since I took delivery of this thing. <laughs> but that, uh, I think it's my current upgrades, a little backrest. So next comes floorboards. Get rid of these little foot pegs. Throw some nice floorboards. Get the floaters like these ones. They kind of actually float inside there. 
they're not as pronounced as the Harley ones. The Harley ones stick up a little bit. You can tell they're not mounted. But reduces vibration. So I'm gonna get some for that. Throw some of those around the back. Probably gonna replace this black piece with a nice chrome one. Cleans up all the lines. Highlights that backbone a bit. I think you clean it up pretty nice. But, well, that's, uh, I guess that'd be what, part four. To work on my little VT 1300 Honda Interstate. Alright, you kids have fun. Play nice, would you? Later.